Welcome. My name is Mark Roy, and I'm a Principal ML Specialist Solution Architect at AWS. And in this brief video, I'm going to take you through an overview of Agents for Amazon Bedrock. So let's see a demo of how that works. Uh, so what you're looking at here is the Amazon Bedrock console. I've clicked on Agents, and I've brought up uh, an agent that I've already built. This agent is a CRM agent or customer relationship management agent uh, that makes it easy to uh, leverage um, the data that's available uh, in your CRM. So the uh, let's say I'm an account manager and I work with multiple different customers. Uh, the CRM lets me keep track of who those customers are, the opportunities uh, that I'm working on uh, with them as well as the history of all the different uh, activities, let's say meetings and discussions and events and so forth. Uh, so all of that's available. So uh, when you define an agent, you give it a name. Uh, and uh, here I've got a set of versions that I've been building. Let's dive into the current working draft. So you've got the name of your agent and then a set of instructions. Uh, so here I'm saying that you are a customer relationship management agent that helps salespeople plan their work, uh, so forth and so on. Uh, and you also identify which Amazon Bedrock large language model you're using. In this case, we're using Claude uh, 2.1. And then you define a set of knowledge bases you want to make available to it, as well as uh, a set of actions or APIs that are available. In this case, I'm just giving it a couple of actions uh, one, an ability to get back a company overview. Uh, a second one that lets uh, the agent get back the set of recent interactions or activities uh, and give details back about that. Like, for example, um, uh, an array of um, dates, uh, times, uh, as well as um, uh, the meeting notes uh, from those interactions. And then lastly, uh, it has an ability to get the customer preferences. So these are the uh, actions that are uh, available to this agent. And let's see how the agent uh, works. So you can either use the agent from the test console as you're developing it, uh, or you can use the API. So here's an example call that I made uh, before we started uh, this video. Uh, I asked the agent to Help me out with uh, customer CABC. Given our recent interactions, what are their top concerns and interests? And it came back with an answer saying, hey, they're worried about reliability, and they have a strong interest in our upcoming service, uh, particularly around pricing. And if I show the detailed trace of what went on uh, behind the scenes, uh, you can see that it came up with a multi-step plan, four steps. And then it executed uh, those steps. The first step was to find the interactions. It passed in the customer ID, which it was able to uh, pull from my request. Uh, and then it uh, invoked uh, the action, which interacted with the CRM itself, gave back a set of details here about all the meetings that we've had, when they happened, what the results were. Uh, and then it uh, determines that it's got enough information and it gives back a final response, basically summarizing what were the concerns based on uh, that activity. Uh, so pretty powerful. And then you can actually have a conversation as well. So here I'm going to have a follow-up request based on those interests. Suggest a next meeting topic and an agenda. And let me know what day and time is preferred. So it's able to leverage what it has already seen to come up with a meeting topic, which is basically uh, an overview of the SmartShip capabilities. And it proposed an agenda, uh, SmartShip overview, pricing and packages, demo, and Q&A. Uh, you notice it came back with a uh, suggested meeting time of Wednesday afternoon. And that was based on its ability to uh, take an action on my behalf to look up the customer preferences. So I had all of this powerful interaction with really just a, a couple of simple natural language requests. And Agents for Amazon Bedrock uh, is able to interpret those uh, and take action on my behalf, dynamically coming up with a plan based on what are the actions available. 
and what are the knowledge bases uh, available. Taking that a little bit further, in addition to using it from the test console as you're building an agent, you can also uh, write your own uh, application or integrate an agent with your own application. Uh, you could use it from a script. Uh, you could use it from an existing um, tool or website or your uh, you know, uh, iOS application. And there's a full API to invoke the agent uh, as well as create agents uh, as well. So in this case, um, I built a simple user interface that takes in a request. It calls invoke agent uh, because we deployed that agent and made, avail made it available uh, to the API. Uh, and as it's uh, proceeding, the API gives you back a trace of what's happening. So here you see the steps that it was planning to do. Uh, and then the first step that it uh, took on my behalf, what parameters it passed, what results it got back. And then it takes a, a, another step, um, comes back with some results, and, and then it figures out it's got enough information. So it uh, returns that back uh, to the invoke agent uh, response. And my application would really just show this. Uh, I could save this trace information into a log file if, uh, if I wanted to, for example. Uh, so you can set up a, a bot uh, of your own uh, that will take uh, natural language input, use one or more agents under the hood, and the agents will uh, take advantage of your existing APIs and databases and document stores uh, to get work done. Very simple to build. Um, and the way that you hook into your databases and uh, APIs is to write simple Lambda functions uh, in whatever language uh, you'd like. In this case, I've got a Python Lambda function. Uh, so we take in an event. The agent hands you an event. Uh, you can look at what action the agent wanted you to take. In this example, uh, if I am asked to list recent interactions, I'll call a function. Uh, that will get that done. In this simple demo, I've just uh, retrieved the customer ID parameter and the count parameter, and then I've got a hard-coded set of uh, meeting results that I'm handing back. In the real world, this is where I would call the CRM API uh, to get that job done. And uh, then I simply uh, return uh, that back as part of the action response, and the agent uh, API takes care of the rest. So very straightforward to use, very powerful new way to look at building applications using large language models. So with that, uh, um, let me also point out that we've got some resources for you to help you get started. Uh, on the left, uh, this will get you to our uh, announcement blog post uh, to help you understand uh, a little bit more about agents. And on the right, we've got a, an online workshop uh, that you can uh, learn about Amazon Bedrock overall with a set of different modules, including a module specifically on agents for Amazon Bedrock. With that, thank you for watching. And uh, let us know what you go out and build with agents for Amazon Bedrock.